So quite often on social media, I get asked how I make my chord stabs and I can understand why, because it's a big part of the secret sound. Now I'm gonna do a video on this. I'm gonna do a proper deep dive into it. That's gonna be a longer video. But in this quick tip video, I wanted to kind of show you a few chords that I do use and how I make them in the Ableton chord device. So I use chords quite a bit within my tracks and I'm not musically trained. I don't know much about chords and scales. Some stuff I have picked up over the years, but most of the time I'm using the chord device within Ableton. And what I wanted to do is show you a few of the presets that I've made for it and how you can recreate them yourself. So I've got a very simple project going here, just a very simple beat in the background, which is just a simple loop of a beat. And then I also have a MIDI channel within here with a Rhodes piano on it. Now the VST that I'm using is the Velvet VST. It's one of my favorite ones and I love to use that. It has a great sound that comes out of it. And I've just got a very simple MIDI clip within here with a few notes. So nothing amazing so far. And what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna add the chord device, the chord MIDI device onto this instrument. So this goes before the instrument. And what it basically allows us to do is every time we hit a note within here, so every time one of these notes hit, it's then gonna play multiple other keys along with it. So we already have our root note. And what I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna build up a simple chord. Now the most simple chords are the major and minor chords. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build up a minor chord. As I mentioned, we're already playing the root note, so that's the first note. The second note we're gonna add is up three semitones. So I'm gonna take this first one up three semitones, and then the second one I'm gonna take up seven semitones. This creates a very simple minor chord. So as you can see, there's only one note within that MIDI clip, but it's now playing three notes in total, creating that chord. Now let's go on to the next step and add another note. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a minor seventh chord. So I'm gonna add an extra note within here to create that minor seventh. So we're gonna create this kind of repeated pattern on here. So, so far we have the root note, and then we go up three semitones to get the first note, and then we go up four semitones to get the next note. So we have a plus three and then a plus seven and we're gonna repeat that for the next note. So we're gonna go up three again. So I'm gonna take it up to plus 10 semitones. And this is how that sounds. So that's our minor seventh. Now let's make a minor ninth. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it up and use the same pattern again. So we're gonna add an extra note within here. And as we can see, we've gone up three, then we've gone up four, then we've gone up three again. So we're gonna go up four this time. So from 10 semitones, we're gonna go up four semitones, 14 semitones. That creates our minor ninth. Now I do tend to use minor ninth chords quite a bit. It's got a really, really lovely sound to it. And especially if you're using something like a Rhodes piano, it does create a wonderful sound. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a final one. We're gonna do a minor 11th. And again, we're gonna use the same pattern and we're gonna take it up three semitones. So from 14, we're gonna take it up to 17. And this is how that sounds. So that is now a minor 11th chord, and this works so, so well. You can just put this straight on a track and create those wonderful chords. Now, say for example, you've made this minor 11th chord and you wanna go back to the minor 9th chord, it's dead simple. All you need to do is hit the arrow and that'll get rid of that note. So as you can see, it's dead simple to build up your chords using the chord device. And those are the chords that I use in most of my tracks. The minor seventh, the minor ninth, and the minor 11th, especially that minor 11th. I love using that on Rhodes pianos, on normal pianos. It creates that real nice soulful kind of sound. 
And when you're kind of using that chord device, remember to save your presets so that they're ready to go next time you make a track. You can just drag and drop them straight onto that instrument and you've got that chord ready to go. So definitely play around with it. And if this video has been useful to you, subscribe to the channel because I have a brand new video coming every day of January. 31 days, 31 tips definitely subscribe and hit that notification icon so you're notified the moment that video pops online and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video.